Hello everyone, welcome back to Down Memory Lane. It is Carly here with some awesome layout tutorials today, you guys. I'm so excited. I am going to be doing some more tutorials with our awesome Simple Stories page pieces, you guys. I am so excited. Today I picked out the Swim page pieces set. This is what it looks like. There are 16 cardstock die cut pieces in this page pieces set. Technically, this set is part of the sports section. So this is like swimming as like a high school sport or as a professional sport. But I am gonna be doing something a little bit um, different than these samples here. I'm gonna be trying to use swim and use these page pieces to show you guys how you can use this just as a general swimming, like beach day type theme. The really cool thing about our page pieces is the amount of, of die cut pieces that come with it, as well as the back of this. So Simple Stories is really cool and they incorporate their page templates, which we'll also be using today, but they use their page templates in a way that they show you a sample uh, layout on the back of all their page pieces sets, which is really neat. Um, but I personally like to show you guys how to create layouts a little bit different than this, still using the page pieces, still using the templates, but using some of the cardstock and some of the pattern paper that you might have around your home. So I am just gonna go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so I am gonna be starting with this really, really pretty blue background. I'm kind of trying to mimic water, like beach water. And I went ahead and pre-cut all of my paper already. Um, some of it I used a paper cutter, some of it I used just scissors. But to start off, I cut out these two pieces of this really, really pretty cardstock that we have, cardstock <laughs> that we have from American Crafts. I really like this one. It is this really cool, almost cardboard looking cardstock. And I used it because I kind of wanted to mimic sand. So I wanted a different texture that was a little bit similar to sand, a little bit different from our usual cardstock that we use. So I went with this and I just kind of freehand drew across two pages, or actually this was one page. I used one page of cardstock and then I kind of freehand drew it and then I lined it up on this side. You can see that when I cut it, there was a little bit where this went up more. And so when it ended here, it was much higher than this and I wanted it to look like it was going right, right across the page. So I just drew it here and then cut so that this all looks like one really nice sandy beach. So that is a really nice way that you can create some of your own stuff while saving cardstock because I only used one 12 by 12 piece of paper to create this, you guys. And you can't really tell that these were once one cohesive page. So I'm gonna start with this and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to adhesive these pieces down. Today I'm gonna to be using my Easy Runner, which is my favorite thing to adhesive with. It's super nice, it's refillable, and we sell refills as well as just the pack to get this outside piece um, in our store, which is downmemoryln.com. So you'll find everything I use in the video today, including our adhesives down in our store. All right, you guys, so this is what it looks like when you adhesive this down. I think I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the other pieces that I cut. So I'm really, really trying to create a sort of realistic looking layout with this one today. I wanted to make something fun and a little bit different from what I usually do. So in addition to the sand and the water slash sky I'm creating with this paper, I took some really pretty green cardstock and I cut out what is supposed to be sort of like grass. With this one, this was one piece, and then I just took and I lined it up where I thought it would make a good splice onto two pages, and I just sliced it down the middle. So now when these are next to each other, it's very cohesive. Um, this reminds me a lot of going to a lot of the lakes here in Eau Claire. There is a lot that is just surrounded by greenery, and so this is when you're running at the beach, this is really what a lot of them look like with this stark grass and then the sand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Easy Runner and adhesive these all down as well. So that is what my scenery is gonna look like. And I did mount some of my, or mat some of my photos. I actually picked 
this kind of cool pattern cardstock. Um, this one is gonna mat the entire photos that I chose to go right here, and this one's gonna mat about half of the photos I chose to go in here. And in order to do this, I actually used the Simple Stories page templates number, or sorry, design number four and design number two. So like, for example, I just took this right out of the sleeve, this little plastic piece, and I used it to mat this. And so it's one four by six picture and two three by four. So I just traced around there on my paper and cut it out and it's gonna perfectly mat these size photos. And the same thing on this one, I actually lined it up with here and then I sliced across so that it would only mat half of it, but it would still line up with the amount of spacing and everything I wanted on the bottom. So I did that and then I also used these to size my photos. I usually get four by six or maybe even smaller photos. Um, and so in order to have the size photos to create this layout, I decided to um, use this to shape my photos as well. So today I'm gonna experiment with doing some different ways of matting my photos. I did have to bring on my photos onto this paper in order to really get a visual of how I wanted to lay this out. And I think it ended up turning out kind of cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhesive down both the mats and the pictures themselves. Next, I actually cut some paper out. Um, I really, really wanted to go for this idea of being outside, swimming outside, since that is such a popular thing here. And so I decided to cut out a little tiny sun out of some scraps that I had of yellow cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my sun to make sure he fits nice where I want him, and then I'm gonna adhesive him down. To adhesive down my sun, you guys, I'm gonna be using this Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive Clear Drying Craft Glue. It is one of my favorite adhesives we have here for doing smaller pieces. If you guys haven't already heard me rave about it, it has the smallest, tiny little tip. It's perfect for getting all of these little baby pieces here. So I will probably use adhesive, just my regular Easy Runner adhesive for the center of my sun. And then I'm gonna go behind it and use this Nouveau glue behind each of these pieces so that one, if I mess up, it dries clear. And two, because these are such small pieces, I wanna make sure that they're gonna stick down and not get lost. All right, you guys, so now that I have my sun perfectly laying down, I am gonna bring in my favorite page pieces. You guys, look at how pretty these are. There are some absolutely gorgeous saturated colors in this pack, and there is such a range. So I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to figure out where I want these on my page. Starting with the title, I think we're gonna put it somewhere in this area right next to my sun that's kind of leading up to it. I think that this is a great spot in the eye line of my layout here for that title to go. So after the title, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying out where some of this is gonna go. Some of it might be hard. For example, we have this little guy who is very reminiscent of maybe a lifeguard. Otherwise, a lot of this really doesn't have to be sport related. Most of this, including this swimming cap and this little lifeguard whistle or starting whistle could be really useful in many areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this out and try and come up with something that I think is very fitting for this layout. This is how I think I am going to lay out this page. I think this ended up turning out really cute. I really struggled in this area trying to figure out where I wanted to put this really, really cute banner. And then I had this idea, these starfish, or sorry, these stars really started to remind me of starfish and of seashells and stuff. So I went, what a cute thing to put in the sand. And then I realized that it would be really cute if it was like these starfish were holding up this banner and it kind of like lines up here and then crosses over this photo. And so I ended up thinking that would be really, really cute. I wanted these water splashes to kind of stay with the title since they are the same color in this area. And so I think I'm really happy with how this laid out. I am gonna go ahead and adhesive this down. I will also be using on top of my Easy Runner and my Nouveau Glue some mounting squares in order to make some 3D elements into this and pop some stuff out. I think I will for sure be popping out some of these little stars as well as maybe the, specifically these two stars and then I'll maybe I will just adhesive that down. 
or maybe I will use a mounting square under here. But either way, I'm gonna be using my Nouveau glue, my mounting squares, and my Easy Runner to sort of um, adhesive all the stuff down and to add some texture and layering. When Chelsea and I talk about this page pieces pack being great for just casual regular swimming stuff rather than competitive swimming this is what we're talking about i absolutely adore how this turned out this is so so cool and i love all the colors in here it just screams summer and swimming and i'm so so excited with how this turned out just a quick overview of some stuff, you guys. I did pop out a couple of the stars here. Um, I also popped out this uh, wave right here. And then finally, I popped out one of these little garland places just because I wanted it to kind of look like it was maybe like flowing or hanging. And I think it ended up turning out really, really cute. If you guys liked what you saw at all in today's video, make sure you head on down to the description. Every single thing I used in this video is linked in the description and you can go shop for all of it at downmemoryln.com. That is our store online. So don't forget to give this video a like, to subscribe to our channel for more layouts, to take a look at our other page pieces videos. There's some really cool ones in there, you guys. We have 54 different page pieces sets here. And I really, really like doing these videos. So if you have any other page pieces sets you want me to do tutorials for, make sure to comment that down below. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.